Oh, what a windy summer's day. Not supposed to be like this this time of year. Conkers are down everywhere, there's even a few leaves off. I know you can't see much, but yeah. Not supposed to be this windy this time of year. Hi there guys, it's Boy 13 This is actually a very brief video. So this is just a simple video on... Now, this is well timed, it's very windy in this country, but nowhere near as extreme as it is in other countries, for example, North America. Now, North America is so commonly known with the future scale. So you know, with, well, or the enhanced future scale, basically the damage from EF0 to an F5, basically it's the amount of damage. So I always get this slightly mixed up, I believe it's the EF damage. So. Uh, enhance the future scale, so basically from F0 damage, like maybe a few minor trees down, maybe some slight damage on the roofs, to that an F5 completely destructs everything in its path. So let's just go through very brief details. So your kids are learning about, you know, damage about tornado paths, and what about EF0 to EF5? Well, there's your answer, so let's begin. So basically, if it was uh, in EF0, well, I'm not saying about a tornado, but if the damage was around in EF0, basically the winds would be under 73 miles per hour. Uh, there would be some, particularly if it was in your area, some damage to chimneys, branches broken off trees, shallow rooted trees pushed over, signboards damaged. This will be most relevant for any damage, thus the wind speeds will be under 73 miles per hour. For an EF1 damage, the wind speeds around 73 to 112 miles per hour. If a tornado has struck through your area of this kind of scale, it would produce moderate damage. Peels, services off roots, mobile homes pushed off foundations or overturned, moving autos will be blown off roads. If it was an EF2 tornado going through in your area, wind speeds will be around 113 to 157 miles per hour, and that was the case with the Birmingham tornado back in July 2005. The consequences would be considerable damage. You have roofs torn off, frame houses, um, mobile homes demolished, boxcars overturned, large trees snaps were booted, light objects, missiles generated, cars lifted off ground. So yep, it gets worse guys. If you had an EF or EF3 tornado around in your area with wind speeds from around 158 to 206 miles per hour, it would be severe damage. Yes, roots and some walls torn off, well constructed houses, trains overturned, most trees and forests uprooted, heavy cars lifted off the ground and thrown up in the air. If it was an EF tornado in the area, wind speeds from 207 to 260 miles per hour, Devastating damage, it gets really bad. Well constructed houses leveled, structures with weak foundations blown away, some distance cars thrown, and large missiles generated. So, yeah, guys, thankfully it's more rarer. So, finally, if it was an EF5 or F5 tornado, wind speeds from around 260. One miles per hour to 318 miles per hour. That would just be incredible damage, and basically it will be like a bomb shelter thing. Basically, strong frame houses leveled off foundations and swept away. Automobiles, sized missiles fly through the air in excess of 100 meters, uh, 109 yards. So basically, trees. Uh, yep, it is so windy, and uh, trees debarked an incredible phenomenon will occur. So basically, it'll be like a war zone if it was in a you know, five tornado. But this is what I'm just pointing out is these wind speeds. You know, they vary from wherever you are. But particularly in Oklahoma, Kansas, you're most prone to these deadly tornadoes. So if you ever see a tornado and it's coming by in your house, always take shelter, guys. It could save lives. That's all I just have to deliver from you. Very windy here, but nothing like severe of those twisters. That's all I have to deliver. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more videos. And uh, the storm's now out.